So today, we're gonna talk about how women become sex addicts, okay? So it usually goes like this. So women's usually shy, timid at first, pure, everything's so goddamn awesome, fairy tale style shit. And then, you know, she has a sexual partner. That DNA swaps, you know? STDs, that shit, it goes straight into your bloodstream and fucking intertwines with your goddamn cells on a molecular level. But disregard STDs. Right now we're talking about DNA swapping between man and woman. So a DNA from the man will swap into the DNA with the woman. So after that chain breaks, after the hymen breaks, after the goddamn lust occurs, she will forever crave goddamn sex, all right? But some women, unfortunately, have sex and they come across an alpha. When they have sex with an alpha, it's not no goddamn missionary and kissing. It's gonna be back shots. It's gonna be motherfucking choking, ass grabbing, fucking pillow flipping, motherfucking squirt sessions, all right? Now, after a woman experiences sexual liberation like this, and then her and the alpha go their separate ways, she will always be craving that type of motherfucking excitement, all right? So that make her goddamn pussy tingle, make it hot. See this bottle? You talk to a girl? It's still vibrating, you see? The bottle was still vibrating. I'm not sure if you saw it. Let's fucking replay that motherfucker, all right? All right? So say you her type, and say you charismatic with her. Hey, girl, what's good? That pussy just vibrating, ready for you, okay? Red D. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. That's how a twat feeling anytime you interact with her ass. But the same way... Men think about women on a goddamn global scale, a whole scale. We think of women as a whole, because we're logical. Women are the opposite. Women think of men as individual. They come across individual men. Sometimes they can't even tell the correct traits of a man or not, because they based, they based all men off of individual things. So an individual man can make a woman pussy hot a different way, okay? A beta male making her goddamn pussy tingle is different than a goddamn alpha male making her pussy tingle. So after she gets that lust from an alpha male, she wants to further try to reach out and receive that high again. So she'll continuously have sex with different partners to fucking fucking try to get that lust and that urge and that goddamn sensation right back. But it'll be few and far between because all these motherfuckers are betas. And since she can never goddamn find a true partner within her first three goddamn partners, she can no longer pair bond. So all she knows how to do is goddamn hop on her damn back and fuck like a goddamn rabbit or ride. A lot of women, if you're talking shit to them, they're going to be like, oh, I love to ride. I love to ride. You know why she loves to ride? Because she likes control. Because she was able to fucking get that goddamn sensation of taking control when she was with fucking betas, okay? While meanwhile, Alpha got there blowing her back out, the betas just let her ass ride. I'm like, how you let the motherfucker ride you all goddamn day long? Like, how you lay on your back and let her fuck you? I mean, she could, I mean, you could do missionary real quick and she could fuck me back like that. But I ain't let no goddamn hoe lay on top of me, motherfucker, for more than goddamn 45 seconds riding on me. You dig? So, fellas. That's how women become sex addicts. They become essentially addicted to men's DNA. That's the way God made us, okay? They become addicted to men's DNA. They always, after that first cherry pop, they want more and more of it because I got the dopamine of that DNA inside their body. That dopamine, once that dopamine hit their body, once you slide right inside that connection, the motherfuckers start feeling crazy, acting antsy. And before you know it, trouble. So fellas, like, comment, subscribe. It's just a short ass video. I'm like, I'm putting up these short videos called to see the fucking logistics on the shit. But I'll talk to y'all later.